so we agreed to continue with uh, with our book uh, Women's Guide to Practical Halacha. And the reason being is uh, that uh, Pesach is upon us, coming very very soon, and we need to learn some uh, basic rules about uh, Pesach. Okay. So yesterday um, we start. Uh, um, we start with the uh, preparation of kalim, right, of our uh, utensil for, for Pesach. So we did, uh, um, and, and we said the same, the, the same way, the taste, the forbidden taste or uh, undesirable taste. It, it's not all, all, always forbidden, it's, it could be an undesirable taste went into uh, the utensil through the heat, right? It has to come out. So meaning what? If it went uh, through the medium of water, meaning uh, it was a pot that, that you were cooking in there, whatever you were cooking, doesn't matter what. Um, the same way, uh, the taste should come out. And we said uh, for for cook for for uh, for the water, the uh, for the utensils that were used with water, the procedure is called hagala, right? Meaning you have a big pot and you put it on on a stove. You make it uh, the the uh, the water boil and then you dip into that whatever you, you need to caution and it could be not uh, it's possible that this this tends to not only be like uh, something that that was used uh, for not kosher food not not only that but for example you had a regular pot right to, uh, that you were using throughout throughout the year and then you said you, you know what i don't I'm, I'm not using that much maybe i can make it uh kosher la pesa let, let's say so there, there is no problem you can you can convert it and uh, so it was per, always permitted substance in there and you can convert it to to, to be for pesa uh, through this hagala okay and um and we said the the procedure is that that, uh, that you wash it well well, uh, and we said about rust, so today maybe we don't have this rust issue, but uh, you wash it very well to remove all of the dirt. Right? Uh, okay. And, um, and then let it stand for 24 hours without any usage. And after that, you, you, can, uh, uh, you can dip uh, in, uh, in, into this pot. The kosher in pot, of course, it, it should, should be boiling. Can be said uh, if it stopped boiling, for example, if you do many many utensils, and Baruch uh, Hashem, we had the merit to help other people to kosher their kitchens. And it's not it's not that hard. It's not. I mean, uh, it's not. But uh, whatever, just, just take some uh, some knowledge, and that's it. And some some people we, we just explain what to do. They naturally smart people. They did it them, themselves. It's not such a big deal. Okay. And um, and after that you you have to rinse uh, in the cold water, right? And it's proper to actually to, to dip it in the mikveh mik, mik, uh, as well. Okay, I mean uh, the, the utensil that should go to the mikveh. Not, not every everything should go to the mikveh, but uh, whatever the metal utensil that uh, must go to the mikveh, that's that's what we do. Okay, after after this uh, washing with cold cold water. Okay, so and after that, so no no problem, you can use. And the, the same procedure, as we said, uh, we we can apply if we want to to convert. For example, if we have too too many meat pots and we like uh, different sizes, and you we need it so much, and we, we don't have uh, enough for for a dairy. So no problem. You you do the same. You 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 kosher this um, meat pot, and you you can use it for dairy. There is no problem. Okay. No problem. Okay. 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 So it's uh, for the Pesach or for everyday use, same procedure. So now we're going to the next Kashrin procedure, which is called Libun. And Libun, we said it's uh, when uh, when uh, this uh, utensil was used for, with, with fire. And uh, the, the example that they, we gave yesterday is a grill uh, uh, for, for your uh, barbecue, right? Or we, we, we're going to say even some uh, frying pans. That we you would use without uh, without oil or with very little oil. So libun, libun. Okay. As mentioned, any utensil used without liquid uh, requires lib, libun. Uh, okay. This uh, this is accomplished by directly exposing the utensil to a fire until it reaches the very high temperature. This can be dangerous and uh, if not done by expert. 
Okay, so that's as as we said, dangerous. And uh, um, if if somebody is interested, so, uh, I'm in this group um, that uh, this Jewish guy. So he found all of the good good deals on on the internet and said uh, like diapers, like uh, kitchen utensils, uh, tickets to to Israel, like uh, in uh, like tickets in in. in in, uh, in America, like, I don't know, all these, like, uh, deals, good deals. So today he sent a uh, uh, deal from a Walmart, right, Walmart, and some, like, brand name, 20 pieces, 20 pieces, all of the pots and frying pans and this, uh, this uh, other, like, spoons, and 20 pieces, 17, uh, no, yeah, 79, $80, including shipping. How can you go wrong? Like, it's all, all that you would need for, for the whole pizza, $80. You understand that that's uh, that's simply cheap okay it's on sale but uh very interesting so you don't uh, so as, as you said many times this uh like uh, warming up this uh, f uh frying pan until it becomes red it's simply dangerous dangerous right however this method is used uh, when cashew in an oven so that's a different story so okay Oven, I mean, uh, you you don't have a choice. If if you want to, to use your oven uh, for, for baking, and usually it, it makes sense, right? If you want to bake uh, cakes in there, or you want to bake uh, whatever ro roast something in there, okay. So you you, you would have to caution. However, this method used uh, for caution in an oven, some posts can maintain that uh, this can be accomplished only by ra uh, running oven through the self-cleaning cycle, which reaches approximately 950 degrees of Fahrenheit. <laughs> Others feel that this is insu so it is sufficient to have the oven reach the temperature that is the highest it's capable of in a normal use, which approximately 550 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so if you, if, if you have more modern uh, ovens, uh, Modern, I mean that one maybe in the past, uh, maybe 15, 20 years, I think. So they, like, um, more advanced models came uh, with the self-cleaning. So you, you just press self-clean. Just make sure that you open all the windows because it's going to smell. Doesn't matter. Like, of course, you, you wash it with a, with a, with a dishwasher, with a chemicals, whatever they use, but uh, it, it's going to smell very bad. Okay, just, just be prepared. So you you can go to the self uh, self uh, cleaning cycle or or some some somebody have a simple simpler models uh, like uh, they I don't know for whatever reason there is no problem so you you just go to the maximum um, which is uh, here as he said 550 degrees whatever is maximum for you own it doesn't matter whatever is maximum for you the oven should uh, stay at that temperature for a short while. Uh, waiting 24 hours is not required before caution uh, with this method because um, why why is not uh, I'm not sure why he's saying okay two, two things I'm not sure but we, we're going to explain the way I learned it right so we said actually it's short while I'm not sure why, why he's saying that so our opa scheme say let's uh, like minimum like 45 minutes at least 45 minutes to an hour to burn everything is it going to burn yes but not a short while, for sure not. Okay, um, waiting for 24 hours is not required before the cash in the business method. So the, the explanation for this uh, 24 hours is not required, as we said, but for, uh, for um, cash in, for example, through uh, our pots right, uh, is required because we said that the taste that it was absorbed into, into the world spoiled. So technically, 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 don't don't try it at home. But but we're going to, to learn in our Thursday class. So if after after the fact, so if, if somebody use a utensil, right, a, a pot, and they um, and uh, it was not used for 24 hours, and they cooked something di from different tastes. So after the fact, we said you, you can eat it. There is no problem. Why? Because the taste was there and it was spoiled. Of and of course you washed with the uh, with the. Um, uh, um, dishwasher, so it's not, uh, there is no problem, like after the fact. Of course, we don't do it, but uh, uh, that's what uh, Rabbi is going to tell you, if he knows. Okay, so so here, 
since it, everything is going to burn like everything uh, would burn uh, anyway this 500 uh, 550 degrees or or self-cleaning cycle so there is no need to, to wait this 24 hours continue under normal circumstances so let's uh, okay so let's go with 45 minutes 45 minutes uh, that's uh, that's good or if if you don't have self cleaning cycle, if you self self clean, where we just press the button and it. Uh, but it also takes minimum half an hour, I think. At least, uh, okay, I, I think it's half an hour at least. I mean, okay, depends on on the model, but that's it. Okay, continue. Under normal circumstances, one should not cushion her utensil from me to daily and vice versa. In other words, if one did not mistakenly use a uh, utensil improperly, meat or milk or vice versa, but one simply wants to make uh, her meat oven into dairy for convenience purposes, she, this should not be done. This is because one can easily forget <laughs> whether utensil is presently in a state of meat or dairy. So let's stop here and understand. So it's very, very interesting. As, as we said before, technically you can do it, but practically don't do it. So un unless you made a mistake, and as, uh, as uh, one of the examples uh, the, that we brought, it was um, somebody was uh, mixing the, they were stealing the soup, uh, like a meat soup with, uh, with your daily spoon. Okay, so it accident happened. So you, you must kosher the, this one. There is no problem, right? You have to kosher. But uh, but some people, but people that but, uh, switch to one to another, don't do it. And plus, uh, the, so technically, technically, we, we don't do it, but technically, if you run this self-cleaning cycle uh, right on uh, in your oven, so you can use it uh, for one day, even in the morning, you use it for meat, and then you kosher it right through the self-cleaning cycle. And then you, you use it for daily. Technically, you can do it, but they say don't. Because why? He explained beautifully, because one day you're going to forget. What is it? It's meat or daily. And you're going to do something that is forbidden. But technically, you can do it. And same same as utensils, so as, as, as an example that I gave. So if you decided that you want to uh, to, to convert something that was used for meat, that uh, and from now on, from now, it's not one time, from now on you want to use for... Uh, uh, for daily, there is no problem. So you 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 kosher, and that's it. One time, and that's it. But otherwise, don't do it. But uh, with this eighty dollars for uh, twenty pieces, that's uh, that's not a smart person who would uh, do this kosher. It's simply it's time. It's dangerous. Okay. However, if utensil was kosher for Pesach, for not home its use, not home its use, one uh, one may decide uh, to hand force. Use it for category opposite to to what it was before Pesach. Um, one more time, and we're going to explain. However, if utensil was kosher for Pesach, for non home its use, for example, it, it was a um, pot, right, and it was used uh, for whatever for, let's say, party, right, and now of course uh, you you have to and uh, you you want to con convert this. Uh, Part into the Pesach part, meaning non 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 homeless. One may decide to hand force use it for a category opposite of what was before Pesach. Okay. So after the Pesach, you can uh, use it for whatever you want, right? So there is no problem. Okay. And uh, as as we said yesterday, that's what our grandmothers, uh, great grandmothers from until Moshe Rabbeinu, they they the people who were very poor and they would uh, kosher everything all of the utensils like on, only very rich people would have that se separate sets but today like uh, especially you, you, you living in a western society it's, it's it's not worth it continue um the grates uh, the grates on the top uh, stove may be kosher by being uh, inside the oven uh while the oven is kosher alternatively the flame can be uh turned on for 10 minutes while the grates are on uh, on the flames, some some cover grates with the black while doing so. Care should be taken when using this method not to light all the flames at the same time. 
aside from the potential danger and might cause the damage. Okay, so let's try to understand. So I told um, to, to one person not to do it, and I told them the, the right methods, exactly as it says here, because uh, that's like, uh, what our, our, our rabbi said like, uh, like a long time ago, that they, would, they thought about all the possibilities. So of course you, you need to cash the, these grades. And wh why do you need to, 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 to cry, uh, cash them? Uh, because uh, for sure, it doesn't matter how accurate you are, like you, you would have spills and these spills are going to go into, into this grade and they're going to stay even though you, if you if you wash them, I mean, uh, it's, it's not such an easy thing to wash them. So that's proper thing, even though they do not touch food. Nobody said it's going to touch food, but but the proper way to put them inside of this uh, oven when, when you cash it and that's proper way. So one genius, so, but I also said, so as it says here, uh, it is possible. So if you want, if you want, you uh, in, in, in situation, I give you the, 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 the situation. If, if somebody does not want to use the, the oven for Pesach, I mean, you, you're not obligated to use oven if you like um, cook on, on top on a, on a stove, there, there is no problem. So if, if you don't need the oven, so you, you just wash it with all of the chemicals, with uh, whatever you use, and then that, that's it, right? So like with, with uh, cleaners, whatever, that, that, that's, uh, that's, that's enough. You, you don't have to caution. So, but in this case, you, the, the grades, grades you, you would need to caution and uh, just uh, like um, turn on, on a high of each, uh, like, uh, each burner, but don't do, do this simultaneously. I always suggest people to do it like on uh, like uh, closer to, to the room, uh, f further from from the like back panel. So of course, of course, I, I don't remember when it happened, like many years ago. One of the students said uh, like to himself, let's save time. So he said, Rabbi say, do two in a time. Okay, uh, maybe he knows, maybe I know better. Maybe he, okay. And they did four burners, four burns in the same time on all of the, 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 the complete heat. And guess what happened? The, the back panel, the, all the electronics, they, they melted completely. Even though it was designed to withstand the temperature. I mean, uh, when we say something, maybe we know what we're we talking about. You understand? So they, of course, uh, uh, they, they were trying to apply for a warranty, but uh, warranty, no warranty is going to like uh, cover for this misuse. And it was an expensive uh, stove. Unfortunately, right? So don't 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 try it at home. If you if you're going to use oven, put the grate in the oven. That's it. Done. If you're not going to put, uh, the, the, not not going to use oven. Okay, you can use uh, of course the top. How you 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 turn the this um what is it um, the flame on on a high and that's it. That's how you kosher. Okay. Continue that. Okay. So again. Try not, not to caution this, uh, uh, this, what, what is it, um, um, th this frying pan. And, uh, and I, I, I said uh, many, many times to, to a student, and uh, this guy said, you know, Rob, I actually, I caution everything. I said, you bought new, 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 new things. I really spoke only a few days ago. Did you go to the store? He said, no, no, Chabadnik came. What this clown Chabadnik came? He took a torch and did like, like this on the frying pans from one side from another. It said it's caution. You understand? So all of the books say they have to be like a uh, white, uh, white, white, red, uh, white or red from, from, from the fire. This guy did a little with the torch. He said, no, that's good. It's good. You understand? Okay, so continue. Okay, and and he said it's free, so he's the source is free. But uh, please give us tzedak. So the guy paid the guy, and the, 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 he was so annoying. So the guy paid him. He told me, I don't know if it's true. He paid the payment like two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty. I told him you 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 could have bought uh, the new parts. For two hundred fifty dollars, right? Very interesting.